Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. With the brand new season, there is the brand new seasonal reward slash event. So today we're gonna give you guys the tips and tricks and the fastest way you can actually grind it out. There's gonna be a few of them that you can combine together and we're gonna show you guys how you can do it today. It's gonna be a little short of the video. I'll try to also put some clips in the background so you guys can see it. Some of the cool ones you can get is a Man of War rare skin. So speed boost. You can also get a free Lee Kar Kar Karchenko tin stitch skin as well as the heavy hitter honestly these are all pretty simple just keep in mind that uh, you can combine a few of them together so so this one you actually don't have to worry too much about because you can actually do it automatically while doing the other ones so for example this one uh very simple i recommend using in most of these domination and i recommend doing it mostly on takeoff depending on which one you're trying to do it's either takeoff or nuketown and sometimes i recommend doing frontline but i'll explain when you should be using frontline so the easy ones you can do, literally, kill 80 with ARs, super easy. You just hop into a frontline, and uh, not frontline game, hop into a domination game. You're gonna be able to do this real quick. And then here, you can actually do, let me just go all the way to the front. Use five predator missile, you can combine this together. You can honestly go on kill spree. If you do domination, pubs, you can actually get those scores pretty easily and actually kill people with it. You don't actually have to kill people with it, you can actually um, just use it. Now, the first one on this one is kill 10 people with LMG. So you can actually start doing this on this one here and you can combine it together. You'd most likely are not gonna be able to get it on the first one. So I do recommend the same thing, domination on um, Nuketown. You can actually do this on Frontline. As soon as you're done this one, you should be able to do it on Frontline. So right here, once you get here, you need to do three Frontline games. So once you need to do the three Frontline games, I would switch to the Frontline games. It's pretty easy to get the LMG kills. Within those three games, you can actually get those LMG kills as well as the next one, which will be the pistol kills. Getting pistol kills on that map is very, very easy, especially frontline. You actually typically get uh, more bots, but a lot of people are grinding the frontline, so you're gonna see more real people. So if you do finish the frontline, switch back to the domination on hardpoint, not domination on hardpoint, domination on Nuketown, you'll be able to finish this pretty fast. And then once you're done that, you'll be able to get the PW kill 40 kills. You should be able to combine this portion here getting the uh, hard point game. So once you're done, the um, basically it depends on which one you're finished. If you're done the Predator Missile, you can actually combine the hard point with the um, any of these gun skills. So I just keep in mind the hard point, you don't even have to get the capture points. You just have to hop on the point or a switch of the point. So if it's red and it turns to blue or blue turns to red, you'll still be able to um, get the points from that. So just make sure you hop on every single point that you can, then you'll be able to do that. Now, these, as I mentioned, are pretty simple. Make sure to have only a quick draw and two other attachments. You can't have an optic on this one. This one, you can have anything you want on the pistol. This one, you have no attachments. This one, you can have any attachments you want. The shotgun or the HS, you can only have one attachment. I recommend the laser sight because you are going to be hit firing. This one, very cool. You can have stock, but with anything else. You can have the M21 EBR with the stock. And also, if you like the ACOG, but I don't personally put the ACOG, I do put everything else on this. So I do have the um, extended mag stock and I used the, uh, I believe it was the FMJ or FHJ. I don't remember the name of it. So that worked out. And then once you get the man war, no attachment, same thing, domination on uh, Nuketown. Or if you still have the hard point left, which I highly doubt at this point, you can do that. But domination on, uh, hard, uh, on Nuketown or Nuketown on uh, hard point. So that's what I recommend. And then this last one is super easy. Make sure to have the extended mag plus three other ones. I had the uh, stock. No, I didn't have stock. I had four grip. I had the quick draw, red dot, and the extended mag. So you can also combine this one here, the 10 operator skills with the get 15 enemy kills without dying. So you can able to get like maybe four kills with it and also play get kills on Nuketown. So that's pretty neat. The headshot as well as the Arctic, if you can, I would use those on Kill House just because it seems to be a lot easier to snipe people in art on Kill House. So I actually played Frontline Kill House for these. So you can combine, like I mentioned, these two together. That's the one that I kind of combine. Either I, I first I did this and then I combined it with this with my remaining one. But honestly, if, if I have any recommendations, I would recommend doing, where is it? Frontline matches with the Arctic snipes as well as the regular headshots. Since you can't easily get 10, you just use a sniper, might as well practice on it. If you're lucky, you'll get bot games like I did. If not, you still can get some snipes on a headshot because players are just basically on the other side, especially do it on a front line. And then finally combine this one here, the 10 operator skills with the 15 kills without, uh, without dying because operator skills combined with your regular one still counts. You can also use your score streaks. 
Um, actually, it can't confirm the score streak. I didn't actually check that one, so I'm not going to recommend it, but you might as well still use your score streaks if you have it. But War Machine does work. The War Machine, as well as your regular kills, if you want, get nukes. I do recommend doing this one on takeoff because takeoff is a bigger spread. So you can actually kill people. You can actually hide in an area that I was hiding to get those 17 kills, basically. It's 15 kills, but let's be honest, you're probably going to get like a... Just in case, I like going 17 in case one of those kills don't count. You never know. So yeah, that's basically it. And with that, you can unlock your free mana war, isometric. You'll also be able to unlock your free, your free Lev Karchenko. And then finally, you'll be un able to unlock your free calling card. And uh, that's it. As simple as that. We actually managed to do this currently. We're currently on stream right now. And I started this at... 2 a.m. It's currently 4 a.m. We finished it about 10 minutes ago, so it's about two hours because I did do it a little bit yesterday. So it takes about two hours, even less if you actually use this technique because I didn't combine any of them. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully this helps you guys. If you did, like, share, and subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys next time. Peace.